Are you in the club? Today, I'm gonna to be making and eating worms. Ugh, not that kind of worm! No! <laughs> no, I won't, I won't drop it on you, but get a good image of it. No. Get a good image of it, like you're gonna actually eat it. Do it for the kids. DCTC, I'm Amy Jo, and I'm going to be doing a follow-up to my rainbow um, jello worms, like my gummy worms. I'm hoping that because I added the extra pack of the gelatin, that these are gonna work better. So here we go. Woo, that's a lot. Oh gosh, it's going everywhere now. Ah! <laughs> I don't know. We'll pop it in the refrigerator and see what happens. Okay, you guys, I can tell you right now that that is not gonna work any better. So, I have another idea. So, here's what I'm thinking now. Woo, and things are getting really messy. So, what if I submerge these and they are just forced to absorb the jello? Will that work? This is really getting crazy now. This is getting like super experimental. Okay, it's not pretty, but here's what I came up with. I have a huge jug of vinegar holding down our straws, and I'm just going to see if having them submerged, it doesn't, it doesn't look pretty though. Look at this mess. All right, guys, <laughs> this is the moment of truth. So this is really random, but I set these things to hold the straws down because they were the only heavy things that I had nearby. Ugh. I feel like this is gonna work, but I don't know. Here's one section. Ooh, this looks so cool on the bottom. I've gotta show you this, hold on, hold on, hold on. I gotta change things up so you can see this. I'm not sure that you'll be able to tell how cool this looks, but it is like smooth, really, really, really smooth, like, glass. See that? So I am feeling, at this point, I'm feeling quite confident that we are going to have gummy worms. Without further ado, let's make some gummy worms. I have a little, I have two rolling pins and I'm going to try that first because that worked pretty well the first time I tried to make these. Oh no, it's kind of a worm. You can't pick it up though. This is confusing to me because I am following the directions perfectly. That's pretty good actually. This is what I'm gonna do. I'm going to put these back in the refrigerator and I'm gonna leave them there overnight. Um, that's funny, look I made I made a jello, like a lollipop. That is funny. Let's see if we can bend it. We can, that's hysterical. All right, so we have a jello lollipop. Maybe it's just still too squishy. All right, they have been in the refrigerator overnight and I feel hopeful. I think this is gonna be it. If this doesn't work, I do not know what will work. So let's pull them out and see what happens. <laughs> This looks pretty good on, on this end. This isn't the end I wanted it to come out on, but... Hmm, see? That really looks like a worm. Let's see if we can pull it out. <gasps> oh my gosh, you guys! I think, I think this is it! Oh! Okay, let's keep going. Doesn't seem to be any good way to do that. So, I guess it could work if you did this into a bowl then you would be able to probably eat them like maybe with a spoon. I don't think you could pick them up. I'm gonna keep trying. I'm not giving up. Ooh, that's our best one yet. I read somewhere that if you rinse them off, it helps remove them. So we're gonna try that. I rinsed these off. So let's see if this makes it any better. On this end, I would say yes. It is kind of sliding out and it looks 
the texture looks more like what I was hoping for, like really smooth. Like that actually, that looks pretty good, that one does. So let me just try that. That one didn't have much jello in it. This one does, I can see it. Oh, that one's pretty good. I'm making a huge mess though. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I had to stop for a minute and clean up because the jello was actually dyeing my table red. <laughs> so I needed to fix that. And I went ahead and rinsed off all of the um, extra jello. So I think it's just going to be easier. And oh, look at that! That is a decent gummy worm. So maybe they were just too cold. Oh, I don't know, that one's, that one's different again, but this one is really good. This one looks like it's just gonna fall out. <laughs> I always think I can blow it out of there and I actually was able to that time. Okay, I think I'm onto something. I think if you rinse them off first, it loosens the jello from the straw and then I bet if I put these back in the refrigerator for a little while, they would kind of like harden up again. So not bad. I was thinking once again that this was an absolute failure, but I don't know, now it's kind of working. Ooh, that one was really good. Finally, we have worms. So putting them back in the refrigerator definitely did the trick. This one is really good. It totally looks like a worm. Oh, yay, we did it! Oh, I just broke that one. <laughs> okay, guys, so yay, we did it! So with a lot of refrigeration, the gummy worms finally work. So that's very exciting. And I'm also excited because I didn't have to eat a real, a real worm. <laughs> the gummy worms are delicious. So anyway, hope you guys enjoyed it. This is Amy Jo with DCTC. Thanks for watching. Bye. Another video. That's the end. Come back soon or we'll miss you, friend. DCTC. We do toy reviews. DCTC. And we play with Play-Doh, too. Skits, pranks, eggs and toys. We make videos for girls and boys. Uh-huh, uh-huh, that's right. <laughs>